Hi, my name is Jay of Rack Pool Tables. First off, I'd like to welcome you to the Rack family. Today I'll be showing you how to properly set up and assemble your Rack Dragon Pool Table. So please take a few short minutes and watch a short video prior to setting up your table. The first thing you want to do is open your box and take a look at your contents. Then, lay each piece out onto your floor individually. If you are assembling your pool table on a rough surface, I do recommend you add a large blanket or a large piece of cardboard. That way you don't damage your pool table during the assembly process. Next, you want to match each part to what's inside your instruction manual. After you've matched each part to what's inside your instruction manual, if you notice any missing or damaged parts, please contact Rack Customer Support with pictures of your shipping label, the box label, the box itself, and the damaged part. Our contact information will be listed at the end of this video. For step one, we'll be attaching our angled legs P2A and P2B and our straight legs P3A and P3B to our main cabinet P1. We'll be attaching our angled legs to our pool table using our 5 16 bolt, our handle bolt H3, and our H2 washers. Now one way to determine that you are adding the correct leg to the correct side of the table is you want to make sure that the angle on the leg is based outwards towards the end panel. You also want to make sure that this chrome bolt pattern here is based inwards towards the other leg. You'll notice that there are three holes here on your angled leg and three holes here on the side panel. We'll be utilizing the two bottom holes on the angled leg and the two back holes on the side panel. Go ahead and insert your H1 bolt into the center hole and the first bottom hole on the angled leg. Insert your H3 handle bolt into the second hole and secure. Next, we'll be attaching our straight leg, P3A and P3B, to our table. You just want to make sure that the two holes on the leg match up properly to the two holes on the side panel. You also want to make sure that the chrome thread is faced inwards towards the other leg. Go ahead and insert your H1 bolt and H2 washer into this first hole on the side panel. Go ahead and insert your H3 handle bolt and H2 washer into the second hole and secure. For step two, we'll be attaching our plastic casters P5A and P5B to the corner of our angled legs. Go ahead and insert your P5B caster into the hole and then on the outside, attach your plastic caster P5A and snap into place. For step three, we'll be inserting our H6 nut into all four holes onto all three leg panels, P4. Now you just want to make sure that the hole on the end of the nut is aligned with the hole on the end of the leg panel. Next, we're attaching all three of our leg panels between both of our legs using bolts H4 and washers H5. So I'm going to line up your leg panel with the two holes that you see on the side. Next, we'll be attaching our leg levelers, P7, to both of our legs, P3A and P3B. This part's pretty simple, so you want to go ahead and screw down your leg leveler all the way down to the bottom base of your leg. The purpose of these leg levelers is to stabilize your table during play, so that if one side's higher than the other, you just unscrew these a couple notches to even out your playing field. For step five, we'll be placing our table into a storable upright position simply by removing our handle bolt, H3, and placing it into this third hole here that you see on our table. 
Now you might have to lift the table a tiny bit just to get the uh, bolt in place. So you want to do the same thing for the rear legs, P3A and P3B. You simply just want to go ahead and remove the handle bolt completely and then just go ahead and fold the legs down inward. For a proper 8 ball rack, you want to note that the number 8 ball is always located at the center of the rack. The two balls in the corner always need to be opposite of each other, so one solid or one stripe. Also, the two balls located behind the 8 ball need to be one solid or one stripe. And as you go around the perimeter, you want to make sure that there's no three balls of one kind. So for instance, if you have three solids in a row, this would be incorrect. Thank you for purchasing our rack dragon pool table. You are now free to enjoy your table with your friends and family. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please visit our website at www.rackpooltables.com or email us at support at rackpooltables.com.